let's take a close-up look at John as he's looking at the finished Bible in God's right hand that he himself is yet to have finished writing. I got another shocker for you. Yeah, I'm excited to see this one. The Apostle John saw this perfect Bible in heaven that was manifesting on earth through seed, growth, and maturity. It had seven seals that no man could open. Jesus took the book out of the Father's hand to open it, as he is the only one who can open it, Revelation 5, 5, and 7. Jesus is the only one who can open any of the Bible to a man or reveal to you that the Father's word is finished in the King James Bible. Then opened he their understanding that they might understand the scriptures, Luke 24, 45. This verse is from the Road to Emmaus episode where the disciples were confused about the scriptures and Jesus' apparent end at the cross. Jesus returned to them on the day he rose from the dead to ensure them he was not stuck in time, but perfected, or was of the matured version of the same Jesus they originally knew. He revealed this to them by the scriptures, the Bible. Total cliffhanger you left me on there. Um, amazing. Give me more about how it's possible that John experienced, right? He's, he's yes. taking a part in a Bible that he hasn't actually written his part for yet. Right. He's looking at the finished Bible mm. that he is yet to contribute writing the book of Revelation mm. in. Okay. And that is just another paradox, mm. but it's truth. We don't want to limit God. When God shows us things, we really want to let him show us things. Wait, so this is, this is blowing my mind, actually. John the Revelator is seeing a book in the right hand. And the book is the finished Bible, King it's James the 66 Bible. 66 books. Yes, of the canon. Of the canon. But he's seeing it, and he has yet still to write the book of Revelation. So he's really seeing what is to come. But it's already there. Correct. Now, that's a paradox. <laughs> yeah. That's what it said in Revelation. That's what it said. The things which were, which mm. are, and are to come. That's right. Wow. But if you think that's bizarre, hmm. take a look at verse 5. Because John gets comforted, that's the John who is in process, mm -hmm. by the John who is perfect. Revelation 5.5. 5. And one of the elders saith unto me, Weep not. Behold, the Lion of the tribe of Judah, the Root of David, hath prevailed to open the book, and to loose the seven seals thereof. John is weeping, and... One of the elders from around the throne mm. comforts John. Mm -hmm. This is the perfected John comforting the John in process, <laughs> wow. even as the finished Bible in the right hand is yet to have the book of Revelation written by John himself in it. After all, look at what Jesus said to John in Matthew 19, 28. And Jesus said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that ye which have followed me in the regeneration when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, ye also shall sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. One more scripture. Okay. Luke twenty two thirty. That ye may eat and drink at my table in my kingdom, and sit on thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. Those are very millennial passages. Mm -hmm. But what we're seeing in Revelation 5 is a part of that mm -hmm. millennial full fulfillment. Okay. Jesus was speaking those words to the disciple John mm -hmm. and all the disciples. Mm -hmm. Every teaching has a picture. I have told you so many times. Mm -hmm. We're seeing the picture of a part of the fulfillment of those words of Jesus. And John is sitting on the thrones this mm. is the throne room yeah. of the Father. The Lamb is at the right hand. The Bible is in the finished right hand. Mm -hmm. And John is being comforted by John. Mm. It's hard to wrap your mind around. If you can't handle the depth of that teaching, don't take it up with me. Take it up with the book of Ephesians. Let's go. Ephesians chapter 1, verse 20. Which he wrought in Christ when he raised him from the dead and set him at his own right hand in the heavenly places. Ephesians 2, 6. And hath raised us up together 
and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. In Ephesians 1, 20, you had Jesus at the right hand of the Father. Mm -hmm. That's what we see in Revelation That's 5. Right. In the Ephesians 2, 6 passage, you have the church raised up and seated with Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. That's what you have in the Revelation 5 passage. John is seeing himself. Mm. This is powerful. Absolutely powerful. But we don't want to restrict God from showing us mind-blowing, mm -hmm. mind-altering, renew your mind, Romans 12, <laughs> yeah. things. Amen? Yeah. Amen. Amen. The Bible is not stuck in time. When John looked at that finished Bible in God's right hand, he saw that the scriptures were not stuck in time, i.e. in a condition of corruption. That's right. And when John saw himself, he realized he too was not stuck in time. Mm -hmm. And you know what? You're not stuck in time and I'm not stuck in time mm. because we are seated in the heavenlies with Christ Jesus. Praise the Lord for that. Amen. What I love about what you just did is it shows the usage of the precept upon precept, the line upon line, the here a little and, the, and there a little, in order to paint this picture, in order for us to be able to see it, it, the Bible says must be upon precept. Line must be upon line. You totally just demonstrated that and brought that picture out that most of us have never seen before. To me, it's very big and clear. Mm -hmm. But if our faith is small, mm. then we're looking at it from a very, very uh, faint yeah. distance. And it may be hard for the viewers to see and receive yeah. what I've shared. But yeah. remember, we covered the verse Luke 24, 45. You, viewer, are dependent on Jesus Christ, opening your understanding. I think it's very critical we put that scripture back on the screen so that we can all be humbled. We are dependent upon Jesus for revelation. Take a look. Then opened he their understanding that they might understand the scriptures. Perfect example of it. If you can't see it, you got to continue to pray that he will open your understanding so that you can understand the scriptures. If you can believe what I have shared, Jesus has opened your understanding. Amen. Yeah.